Hi there, oh, Odawa Usopp here, back with more Puzzle Agent, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we gotta head to Corkas. Cork, cork, cork. Cork, cork, cork. Come on, go in. Go in. Corka, I was right. This is big. Yes? Did you find something at the lodge? It's much bigger than the cult. Bjorn led me to a cabin in the woods where a scientist was investigating something to do with space. Really? I think it's part of some government cover-up. Ooh, a cover-up? Goodness. His recordings. He'd found something out there. Yes, yes. But after he reported it, he disappeared. And they tried to take me off the case. This could go all the way to the top. The CIA, the NSA, the uh, the Trilateral Commission. I'm not familiar oh with the Trilateral my. Commission. Now I've got proof. I was starting to think I was losing my mind that no one believed me. I believe you now, son. Yay, she believes this. I think you're ready to see this. I'm sure it's nothing insane at all. I'm sure it's just something, you know, interesting that isn't at all delusional and creepy and... Huh? Oh, God, I knew it. Good men like Haldor got too close. They started to find out too much. NSA and the Freemasons had to take them. Even Shut her them pose up. is creepy. You can hear it if you know how to listen. CIA curiosity suppression race. Sounds like whispers in the forest. But, but the astronaut. Astronauts? Charlatans. Don't be so naive, Nelson. Everybody knows Kennedy faked the space race to distract the world from a real breakthrough. The Kittimat incident. The, the first viable Bigfoot human hybrid. Um. Uh... Okay. She is nuts. You couldn't see me doing it, but I was doing the swirl your finger in your ear thing while I was doing the. I'm not sure what to believe anymore. Could I be going as crazy as Corka? Probably not that crazy. Maybe these hidden people really are just a product of my imagination. The only sane person I've spoken to is Dr. Verstecht at the campground. Maybe I should talk to him. Maybe so. I gotta go talk to that campgrounds guy. Because he's a guy. I like this guy. Tethers in his deer stalker. Anybody else know another name for that kind of hat? That's what I've always called it, a deer stalker. Maybe it's a balaclava. Is it a balaclava? Dr. Verstecht? Alfred, how can I help you, Agent Tethers? I just like saying balaclava. Have you ever met a local scientist named Ola Velhaven? Once, many years ago. Strange man completely obsessed with some mathematical formula to cure psychological disorders. He found it. I think he may have found that formula. Did he? No, yeah, good for him. Good for him. That's all you have to say? You've been in these woods for a while. Have you ever seen any astronauts? Hmm. No, but I have seen the occasional scuba diver stuck in the treetops. Really? You go, what? Of course not. That's an urban legend. Okay. Heidi people. What would you say if someone believed he'd actually seen the hidden people? I'd say that believing in the hidden people is absolutely crazy. But then, everything we believe in is crazy. From mathematics to democracy. Well, mathematics is logical. So, the hidden people don't exist. Maybe democracy could be well, seen as crazy. That, the hidden people most definitely exist. There have been appearances for years, all around town. It's almost as if... Almost as if they're trying to get somewhere, but they're being blocked. I've been able to pinpoint scattered locations of sightings, but I can't find a pattern to them. 
Here, take a look. So, puzzle time. Yes. Okay, so long gnomes come from the moon. Of course, it makes perfect sense. No. No, it doesn't. All right. We know they came from the moon. So um yeah, they're going to end up on earth. Man, them some big gnomes. Them some big gnomes. Huh. That look about right to you. Look at the faces of the moon. Ah, die, I don't know. I like the little pepper and eggplant stamp. And I like the fact that we're mole free, too. Yes. So how do we do it? And the most of them includes the pressure of the moon. We know the new moons are over to the moon on the Earth rather than leaving it, so you can yeah that. I was right. Impressive, but I still don't see. Wait a second. This is a list of the dates of penumbral eclipses. Each one corresponds exactly to the emergences of the hidden people. Amazing. Give me a moment. They were just random appearances before, but now that I have a sequence, I can triangulate the exact position of the hidden people's home. The moon, maybe? We have to go, right away. Um, now? Yes. Right now, while the moon lights our way. Off we go. Why not go during the daytime? Must be nearby, Agent Tethers. Why not go later when it's Just much later, when it's warm? Do you hear that? It's probably never warm in Scoggins. Oh, Alfred? Alfie! Oh, go? bugger nuts, don't wander off. I doubt there's any gum out in the snoot. Whoa, there's a puzzle here. Slide the logs. No reason for a clear path for Nelson to find Alfred. Alright, I do that. Whee! No. No. Hmm. Let's see, put that there. And put that there. Put me there and we got all the way down there. Oh, but now it's all jammed. There we go. Go, there we go. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Oh yeah. Hoorah! Do do dee! I founding Alfred. Well, one way to solve this puzzle is to work the pair of the logs together. You know, I did it. I just decided to try to rotate them until I get, try to get them to, you know, work them around and around. On the field until I saw an opening. That's what I was going to do. Me, 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 And spooky glowing green. Those of you who've watched my playthroughs, some of my previous playthroughs, know that yes, green is the most evil kind of spooky. He's been spotted. Oh god! <laughs> Tilts its head and then comes at him. Oh, Jeebus. Astronauts with drugs. And that's how Nelson Tethers got addicted to heroin. Or not. Oh, 
Hello? Nelson, I thought you'd never pick up. Jim? I was listening to the Scoggins tapes that you left and found some of the tapes. Jim, listen. Whatever you do, don't log the tape I sent you. Something massive is going on in Scoggins. Jeez, I mentioned the Hermes 2 and astronauts. If the director hears about any of this, it'll cause chaos in all the divisions. You can't let him know what's on that tape. Jim? <laughs> yeah, uh, I gotta go. Aw, oh, damn it, Jim. Damn it, Jim. Okay, you, you had to go and do it, didn't you? You've already logged the tapes. Buggery do. Well, it appears we're back in town. You got anything new to say, lady? Aha! Uh -huh. Mrs. Garrett, was anyone pressuring you to keep me from checking in? What? Oh, no. That business about the vacancies was just, um, er, a, a clerical error. Oh, silly me. Uh-huh, sure. Uh, okay. It's just that some people don't trust outsiders because they see this town as a family. A brotherhood of Scoggins, if you will. Ah. There's no reason to be inhospitable. We got our answer. Is there anyone else staying in the hotel? To be honest, no. Why do you ask? Somebody left a strange note under my door last night. Couldn't see who it was. Oh my! I was at the desk all night, and I didn't see or hear anyone come in or out. Well, apparently Cork is a ninja. Has anyone in town actually seen the hidden people? Agent Tethers, that's just crazy talk. The only gnomes in Skagans are the little wooden ones. Speaking of that, what happened to your collection from the window? Oh, those? I sold them to that nice man Steve at the diner. Made a tidy profit, too. Nobody's ever mentioned actually seeing one of the hidden people? Oh, Agent Tethers, they're just stories people tell to make the long winters more interesting. Nobody really believes in that. Except that poor Bo Murphy, I guess. And Steve, over at the diner. Oh, and the Brotherhood, of course. And a lot of people. Have you seen Bo Murphy? The last time I saw him, he was in the alley talking to someone. I was hoping to ask him some questions about it. Bo Murphy? Well, I haven't seen him in... Oh my, how long has it been since I've seen him? Must have been around the time you were here last. That's been quite some time. So Bo, Bo disappeared I too. something about going into the woods to finish a conversation. Haven't seen him since. Bummer for Bo. Did you file a missing persons report with the sheriff for Bo Murphy? She's not his mom. Oh my, no. I didn't even realize he was gone until you mentioned it. Bo was always a little unusual, even before he started talking about the whispers. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be back before you know it. Hot dish. I'm actually kind of curious about that hot dish I've been hearing about. Oh, sorry, Agent Tethers. We really are out of the hot dish for real, I'm afraid. It's been a bad winter for Moose Meat, and the man who usually delivers the cilantro has gone mysteriously missing. Man, too many people go missing here. So long, Mrs. Garrett. You stay safe out there. No gum, no cilantro. This town is hell. Hell, I tells ya. I'm still going out the back door, it seems. Oh well. Uh oh. Director Jennings? Good work, Tethers. Seems like you found something pretty important to these boys. But uh, I. I'll take it from here. But. Enjoy yourself, Tethers. You're on vacation for Pete's sake. Go ski. Shoot a bear. As for me, I'm headed to that moose eared diner. I hear they blend up one damn fine milkshake. Why don't you come along? You leave the bears alone. If nothing else, maybe I can convince Director Jennings to listen to me at the diner. I've got to get to the bottom of all this before these agents cover everything up. Yeah, exactly. Better check around town to see who, if anybody, is still on my side. You know they can hear you, right? There's one right there.
And as we learned in Sam and Max, they are trained to overhear personal dialogue. Alright, Zick, I'm going to check how much time we are at.